guys, it's Melissa. Happy Wednesday. Today I have pulled out all my mini stuff um, to give you a quick and easy uh, tutorial on how to use printable heat transfer for darks. Okay, so when we're talking about darks, we're talking about dark surfaces that they're going to go on. So there are two different products. I typically use the StarCraft brand. You've heard me talk about StarCraft before. Um, so they have an inkjet printable material. There's two types. One is for darks and one is for lights if you're gonna put it on something light. So the other day I showed you um, how to use the inkjet printable for lights, which is literally an ink transfer. So you're printing in reverse and you're turning it over and then you're peeling off the paper where the ink is then kind of infused into the fabric. You can't do that for darks because if you try to infuse the ink, you won't be able to see it. So literally you need to make a transfer and place it um, just like heat transfer vinyl onto your design, okay? So today we are using inkjet printable for darks, okay? I added the link up top um, for you and I'm gonna show you how to do this. This is literally, all it is is a print and cut, okay? So instead of printing and cutting on paper or sticker paper, you're gonna, you're gonna print and cut on a sheet of StarCraft printable for dark, all right? So, you need to print in the correct orientation, okay? So don't turn it in reverse, and you need to add registration marks. I can see a bunch of comments coming, and I can't see far enough to see what you're saying, but hopefully I'll answer your question. Now, one trick that I sometimes like to do, because this paper is white, so when you do your transfer, and I'm gonna do this from start to finish in a second, but I just wanna give you an example here. When you do this and then you cut it, what you sometimes end up with is a very small white border around the edge. You may not be able to see this, um, but if I put this on my dark surface, you can see there's a white edge around there, okay? All right, so, and also all the links for everything that I'm using are up top, including this design, which is part of the September so fancy bundle, which ends today, okay? Comes with a free Halloween bundle as well if you buy it today. Anyway, you saw it has white. So what I like to do is I actually put a block or a square. I just draw a square in Silhouette Studio um, and fill it with the same color as my background. So for this, it's gonna be black. So now if I cut and there's any little edge that's showing, what it's gonna do is it's gonna be black, and when it's on your surface, you won't be able to see that. So that's what we're gonna do today, okay? So I'm gonna turn you over here a little bit. We're gonna print, start this from, we're gonna do this from start to finish, okay? So I have my inkjet printable sheet. You wanna print on the front side. This is a lined material, okay? So I'm just gonna put it in my printer, which I've got a lot of stuff going on over here, but I'm gonna put it in my printer. Okay, this is an inkjet printer, not laser, not sublimation, just an office home printer. And from Silhouette Studio, I am going to click the printer icon at the top of Silhouette Studio. I'll be able to show you this in a second. And then I'm going to tell it that I want it to print. Okay, I'm actually just gonna pick um, auto select paper, you, you know, do your normal. If you get too much ink, sometimes it kind of scrapes off. So I just like to use normal for this. A lot of times when I'm doing a print and cut and I want high quality like stickers, I'll do best. Um, but for this one, I'm just using auto select and normal. Okay, and then I'm gonna print. Now, I don't, hopefully you can see this. It's got my printer box coming up. But what you can see is I have this black box around here. But what's going to cut is only around the pumpkin and the sunflowers, okay? So this is going to print out here in a second. It takes, as you know, printing can, can take a couple of minutes um, to process, but I like you guys to see the whole thing. So while you're waiting for that, your heat press should be at 350, I had to remind myself, 350 degrees, and you're gonna press for 30 seconds. This brand of paper is StarCraft for darks, okay? I included the link to the 25 pack up at the top. There's also a 10 pack. Um, that you can get, all right? So here's what you have, all right? Okay, so this is what I'm doing. My design is obviously just the, the pumpkin and the sunflowers. If you're just coming in and wondering why I have a big black square around, it's so that if I, when I print and cut, or when I cut, if I get a slight 
you know, edge, that black edge will be on here instead of it having a white edge around, okay? All right, so now we are going to do the cutting part. I'm gonna bring you down here. I'm literally just, I'm using my um, portrait today, okay? So I'm just gonna put this on here. All right, it's Bluetooth, so I'm able to have my computer on the other side, um, and I'm gonna cut, okay? So the cut settings for this, which I'm using, um, I can come over here so you guys can see me a little bit better. Okay, so the cut settings that I'm using for this are a blade of two, a force of 12, speed seven, you can slow it down if you want, and two passes. All right? Um, so, I'll do that like that so you can see. Okay, so it's finding my registration marks, and once it finds my registration marks and cuts, it's just going to cut, where's my example? It's going to cut right around my pumpkin, and I'm gonna end up like this, and then I can peel it up like a sticker or peel that back. Now, one thing that you do need to be aware of, if you have a decal, that's in multiple pieces, okay? So like, let's say you had text. First of all, if you have text, I would suggest just doing it in HTV instead of printable like this. But if you had pieces that were multiple, you're gonna need some kind of a mask to pick it up, a transfer sheet. You can use an old transfer sheet from your Caesar Easy Weed, something like that, but you will need something to help pick it up. Um, so while this is printing, I'm getting ready. This is the sheet that comes with StarCraft. We'll use it to help protect our, our um, towel. And I'm actually just going to do a quick um, pre-press on my towel for right now so that this is all ready. Okay. Okay. All right. So now I'm just doing that for here. We'll move the computer. Okay. Looks like it cut. Now, oh, I've got so much stuff here. Okay. get all this stuff out of my way and we will now remove uh, the design let's see where did I put my all my tools okay here we go okay so what we're gonna do now is literally just weed this up you can try to weed away your design if you want but be very careful if you do it that way as you can some you can kind of scrape the ink see so my suggestion instead is to pull this apart now you're gonna say melissa you're wasting i'm wasting i know i know that's kind of part of it so if you're gonna do more than one i would put them all on the same sheet now what i want to point out here is that you'll be able to see that i have a slight black edge because of the printing cut okay so the reason, again, that I did this is so that when I place this on my towel, my black towel, that edge is black, same color as my towel, instead of white, which would be way more obvious, okay? So it will not even be noticeable on my towel. All right, so here's my decal, okay? All right, we can move this out of the way now. And... Whoops, put this down. Now I can just place it where I want it. Make sure it's centered here. Okay. Okay, and I can press this. I need to walk around to get my sheet that dropped. And this is gonna go for 30 seconds. Because I have it folded, I'm gonna pull the, the um, pressure back a little bit. All right. Okay, so that's gonna go for 30 seconds. Now, you have a bunch of you have a bunch of questions, which um, unfortunately I have not been able to read while trying to do all of this at the same time. So hopefully Ashley um, can, can help you out. Also, if you're asking, where's the pink press from? Where do you get the portrait? What is the material, the design? Where's the design from? Anything like that all up top along with a full step-by-step -step written tutorial on the same exact process. In fact, I think I used the same towel um, last year when I did this, okay? 
So here you go. All right. So I'm going to show you closely. You can see you can, what you cannot see is that black edge. Okay. Now, if I had used, as I said before, if I had used, um, not put that black square around, you would see white. And actually what's behind the sunflowers is not the towel. It's the black square that I had there. Okay. But it looks like the towel. This has a little bit of a, what's called a hand. You can feel it just slightly. You can wash this. I would just probably hang to dry, but it's very, it feels just like heat transfer vinyl. Okay. But what I got was I didn't need to layer. I didn't need to cut all these different colors. Actually the, the, um, stem of the, the pumpkin here was a darker color, which I didn't think right against the black would pop. So in Silhouette Studio, I just selected that one piece and picked a slightly lighter color brown so that it would pop off of here. So you can customize as much um, as you want, okay? All right, so this design, again, is in the September bundle from Sofancy, which expires today, as does September. Um, it comes right now, we're adding a, the fruit, we are adding the Halloween mini bundle with it. So if you get them, you get both. I linked to that, to that up top. The only thing I don't think I linked to, which inevitably someone asked, where is the towel from? I'm sure they ask because they always do. Um, the towel is from All About Blanks, okay? Um, so someone's asking, if a shirt is light pink, would you use light or dark? That's a good question. It, it really depends kind of on the shade. You want light like something that's like white, off-white, gray, light pink, it'll probably be okay to have the um, the printable for lights, which as I said, um, the ink is transferred into. I have them here actually. We just did these last week. This is the same, this is the StarCraft for lights. Okay, I used that and put them on wood. That is literally an ink transfer as opposed to what we did here where you're cutting the decal and applying it on. Okay, so two totally different processes. Please, please, please don't get um, confused because if you use the material the wrong way, it's not going to work, okay? All right, you guys, I hope you have a fabulous day and I'll see you soon.